into this. Is dating without sex beneficial? And if so, how? For me personally, I think that it really is. Um, it gives me the clarity that I need. Um, mm. It takes away a lot of the, you know, unnecessary confusion. I think that sex, people might not want to admit it, mm. but I do think that sex sometimes clouds our judgment. It, it just creates a lot of unnecessary confusion and it hurts you in a way because it it allows you to kind of gloss over things that actually could be red flags. And so for me, we're dating with a clear mind of knowing that, you know, sex is literally not on the table. Um, for me, dating is a lot easier. It also eliminates the people who are not willing to, of course, respect your boundaries and um, kind of just go straight into they you know they're there for one thing type mm -hmm. of situation and so it kind of helps you to get those creeps out of the picture now don't get me wrong you know there are creeps that know how to pretend too you know so you have to be careful of that but yes to me it's absolutely beneficial i think that it's something that helps me to just have a clearer mind when i'm going into, into situations mm -hmm. I feel you because when I asked this question, I thought about how many times I've heard about this on social media mm -hmm. or even with people I converse with in person. And they say, and particularly with women. So here's just my pushback with that. I hear a lot of women say I can separate sex from my feelings. So how do you feel about that? Do you think it's just kind of individualized? Because to me, I would imagine, and I'm not a woman, so I'm just, this is just my opinion. Yeah. I'm like, as a woman, I think y'all are connected like sexually and, and mentally, I would imagine. But if you can separate sex from your feelings, uh, I think that Fight might- Fight feelings, be. face facts. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, I agree with you. And it took a lot of learning and unlearning for me to really understand how connected I really am with my sex. You, you get what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. Not just because of my religion, mm -hmm. but just as a woman, like you said, um, I have had periods of my life where I did feel like I could separate them. Um, but I think that that was a lot of conditioning. I thought I think that's a, the evolution of, of the world right now, um, unfortunately. We're going through this weird phase where the women of the world are kind of adapting to their their <laughs> their environments and they're shutting off some of the very important parts of being a woman, uh, mm -hmm. like their like their emotions, like their feelings, like their femininity. And in my past, when I have thought that I was quote unquote able to separate that, I was really just fooling myself because. Mm -hmm all connected it's all connected and and in this day and age I don't want anybody touching me like literally I will cringe <laughs> at the thought of that um to have someone to touch me and not have a true connection and a true bond like I'm not I'm not, not even just talking about sexually like friends family <laughs> mm -hmm. don't touch me I don't want anybody touching me that is not you know doesn't mean me any good so yeah, but no, I, I agree. I feel you because I do think with uh, and, and I'm not shaming women because I'm not. And I said before, I ain't trying to police your body. So don't come for us in the comments. We just conversing because <laughs> people will come for you in a New York minute. You got to say that. okay? <laughs> yeah, right. Because I and I hear that so much. And then I hear what women saying, well, men are dogs. So I'm going to give them that same energy. And I'm thinking, so you're going to take away from who God made you to fit to the environment and to the way that somebody treated you. And, and I always tell people, don't become who hurt you. So how can yes. you expect to find true love when you have become the person who hurt you? That's really? not even you. You can turn this into the monster. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. But I, oh, go, ahead, I'm go ahead. No, go ahead. I just feel like I, I understand in a sense, just because I understand kind of how... Um, things adapt to try to protect itself. I mean, even in nature. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's going on, but ultimately is just causing more harm. Um, I think that women 
are trying to take back their power, but they're doing it in a way that is completely, um, what's the word, self-destructive in a sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I think that, yes, protect yourself. Yes, have a, a good grasp on your feelings and, you know, don't be so quick to just invest in somebody just because you kind of like them or they love bomb you or whatever, but still, you know, embrace the fact that you're a woman and that you do have emotions and that's what makes you special. That's what is, that's your light. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So do you think, now that we're here, I want to discuss this. So do you think that a lot of women who are, who aren't able to operate in their femininity, do you think that that comes from maybe a lot of bad past relationships because I want to ask you about that as well. But do you think, cause to me being, being feminine is the most beautiful thing in the world mm -hmm. to me for a woman to be in her full femininity for her to smile. And you just like, and nothing sexual is just more of like a pleasant spirit. It's an aura. Yeah. 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 Um, I have in my past, like I said, thankfully, 34. I love that. I love my 30, 30 plus life. Mm -hmm. I really do. You know, I've done a lot of growing and healing, but